Well, here we are, Leanne and Barry. We're in the town now of Bavaro, which is about, uh, about 15, 20 kilometers from Punta Cana. It's actually uh, different, but the same thing. This is obviously a very high tourist area. We're doing some quick shoots here before we head on the road, and I'll do a drive-through to live up to my obligation and promise to all of the subscribers that I s who requested some of this area and I said I would as soon as I had the opportunity to come out here and we kinda got sidetracked because yesterday on that beach road we ended up helping a couple of people that were stuck in a two-wheel drive pickup truck a family and uh, they kind of ventured off that beach path that is on the previous film and they basically weren't going nowhere they were stuck axle deep in sand so uh, Yoda and I and Leanne ended up opted uh, to figure out a way to pull them out there which took a little while because they buried themselves really well and we had to make a little bit of a detour and uh, that took us to Bavaro, which is very, very, very high on the tourist scale. Uh, I realize tourism is a major factor for this country, and I respect that completely. However, um, as soon as I can leave, I'm, I'm more than happy to. But we're going to honor the uh, rest of it. I'll zoom down back a little bit. And we're going to end up doing a drive through Bavaro and a drive through Punta Cana and then on to uh, another island which I'll fill you in later and hopefully this comes out okay I'll zoom in a little bit from the beach there and this is off season and we'll catch up with you soon Barry and Leanne we are out so guys, we're here in Bavaro, and living up to our obligation for all of our subscribers, we promised we'd do some quick filming. Bavaro and Punta Cana are excellent areas for those of you that want to come for a vacation, um, enjoy, relax with plenty of restaurants, plenty of excellent opportunities to bargain hunt on supplies, Excellent, excellent variety of souvenirs, beautiful clothing, very, very warm people, <clears throat> very friendly atmosphere. And of course, Leanne and I living here for all these years, we know how important tourism is for the country. Leanne's just doing some steel shots. This is a, just a typical market area. One of many in Bavaro. I'm zooming in right now. Take a look at the wonderful colors beautiful beach clothing and the prices here compared to other Caribbean villages and other Caribbean islands is a giveaway and that's what makes the DR one of the most diverse and one of the best places for you to spend your tourist dollars those of you that are coming for a short visit you cannot beat the value of this country the diversity this country is safe to go around I've traveled it many times last year I put on 33,000 miles in one year in the Dominican Republic. It is second to none. I've been on every island in the Caribbean. And for me, República Dominicana es el número uno. En el mundo, todo el mundo. This is Barry and DR. We'll catch up with you later. Okay, this is Barry. I'm in one of the better local stores. Look at this, right off the beach. And I'm doing a pan here slowly because you're going to find a selection of, there's many, many stores like this in Bavaro, Punta Cana. This, of course, is very important to the DR for it is one of the biggest ways we create our living was through tourism. I want to zoom in. You're going to see in the latter part of this beautiful store an abundance of artwork that is absolutely amazing. And 
in, in the agreement to living up with our subscribers in the tourist areas, Leanne and I purposely detoured our trip. Now, you'll see Leanne coming into the picture now. In the background, hey, Mouse. Hey, how are you? Beautiful little carvings. Replicas Beautiful little stand. Art. What's that, Leanne? Okay, replicas of the Taino carvings, which you know Leanne and I are a big fan of the history of the Taino. Now look at this as I'm zooming in. Look at the the, the possibility of your artwork here. And these are not expensive and they are beautiful. The local artwork, uh, I've seen absolutely incredible Haitian artwork. And it's just one sample of many of the well-stocked stores right on the beach in Bavaro. Okay, so Barry and Leanne are going to catch you a little bit later. We're going to mount camera on the truck and we're going to do a drive-through for the town. Amigo, gracias por tu tiempo, eh? Okay. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, Barry and Leanne here uh, in Bavaro. And we're going to be heading out. I'm just going to do a little bit of filming here of the town of Bavaro. Very, very, very touristy. And um, adio. We uh, ended up spending the night here in uh, pretty much a regular little hotel. Nothing fancy. I can tell you the prices here range from the average to the extraordinary at over two thousand dollars a night so I'm just going to do a drive through to keep everybody up to speed on some of the various other areas of the DR including uh, you know the touristy areas which I've re you know said already is a major source of our income so I'll switch off now continue it on we're just leaving the hotel and all of this yellow wall you see all the way going forever, that is one giant resort. Okay, so we'll catch up with you when it gets a little bit busier in Bavaro. And we'll go from there. This is Barry and Leanne. Talk to you soon. So what this place really reminds me of is uh, a giant Key West. I'm going to let a couple of cars go. I don't want to hold up traffic. And if I go according to speed, uh, you guys are going to get blurred out. So we're letting them pass and now back into the flow. Got to be courteous. And um, what can you say, Leanne? I know uh, we're more the country kind of folk. Um, by the way, I'm still continuing on that yellow wall here. This is all one huge resort and I'm five minutes into driving just to give you an idea of how large it is. What can you say about uh, This area is obviously very built up. It's just hotel after hotel. Um, it's not really for me. I prefer the quiet. This is the uh, slow season. I can't imagine coming here in the winter months. It would just be a zoo with all the buses, the traffic, the taxis the different tours. Honestly folks, um, having lived in the Keys when I was younger with my mom and dad for a little while, this reminds me honestly exactly of a giant Key West is what this reminds me of. Okay, I'm just going to air up a tire here at the old Texaco.